Yeah, man. My only problem is, it's like, what I was gonna say again? Oh yeah, my only problem really is, you really you don't, you, you one sided. James, I mean, I'm sorry, Quack. You said you gotta speak <laughs> up, big dog. What, what, what's wrong? I said you one sided. One sided with regard to what? Like you live in the suburbs, right? I'm I live in a city. Well, like you suburban, right? I was born and raised at two zero two one four Greenlawn, Michigan four eight two two one. I lived there until I was twenty six years old. I lived in the same house until I was twenty six years old. I moved out there, raised my daughter. I moved out to Waterford, Michigan, raised my daughter, and then I moved back into the city. So what? What, you, what the fuck you talking about? My only issue I, I is to, no, 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 wake no, up no, 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 no. Let me qualify myself. Talk about the I went to Hampton Elementary School, right, right off of Livernois, and then in, in middle school. Can I talk? Hold on, hold on, because I because you don't know what you're talking about. So I want to qualify. I was not born and raised in the suburbs. I was born in the city. I said you live in the suburbs. No, 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 no. I lived in the suburbs in my late twenties and early thirties, and then moved back to the city. So. I was born in Sinai Hospital off of Outer Drive near Schaefer. I went to Hampton Elementary School. I went to UAD on Seven Mile and, and Cherry Lawn. And then I went to Cass Technical High School in Detroit, Michigan, downtown. I went to Wayne State, UAD College. And then eventually I transitioned over and going to um, um, OCC over in Royal Oak. And I live in a city right now. So, don't Well, you're a wealthy me. man is what I'm saying, right? What does that have to do with anything? It got to do with you wake up every morning and you depict the life that you don't live. Like, why don't so you, you talk me, about you people that's in your same position? You want me to be broke? I want you to talk about people in your position, not wake up every morning and talk about the hood that you don't live in. I don't talk about the hood. You I could talk simply about talk rich. about people like you who wake up every morning and get to it, but you refuse to. You talk about the crime. You focus on crime. Right, you I talk about the crime. And then for the people that's looking to get to the money that actually want to have that type of conversation, we talk about that in the Patreon. And then I also give some... So they got to do a Patreon. Ah, you can drop a video and about I the also Black give insight every on the day. And then I also give insight on the Millionaire Morning Show. Listen, bro. I'm not going to speak that dusty shit just because y'all think that y'all know what's going on. I was raised in the hood. Ain't shit in the hood. Ain't shit good about the hood. Bro, and I all I'm saying is you are... And I despise the hood. But I'm saying you wake up every morning and you talk down talking about the black culture. When you can simply talk about people like you who wake up every morning and get to it. But we got to get a Patreon for that. You yeah, can't simply you show somebody no, no, no. more if you, if you want the big, If you want the big dog information, that's behind the paywall. And I'm going to absolutely scamming. continue. To, and I'm going to absolutely talk. How is that scamming? It's because $9. It's, it's a, it's a, you a hypocrite. It's $9. You got all and these words for the black hold on, hold on, hold on. He, a dude just called me today, and this is the honest to God truth, and said he thankful for my coaching calls because because now he has leveled up and he's from Chicago, and I can call him right now. He leveled up and he's from Chicago, and I got him in the best position that he's ever been in, and he's from the hood. So don't fucking talk That's to me. That's not what about, I'm saying. Don't you fucking talk to me about scamming. How's that scamming? Who I, who I scam? Who I took money from? You wake I up never, every morning, I ain't never asked people is not shit, shit and you got to. Every day shit. is something about us. So why you tuned in? Why don't you go and t tune into a nigga from the hood then? You just said call for your issue. I'm calling. No, 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 no. What I'm asking you, can at least... you is, if you don't like what I talk about, why the fuck you here? To call it to call in your no, issue. No, no, no. You've been said. watching my shit on a regular basis because you wake up and listen to me rant every day. So if you don't like the fact that I talk the shit that I talk about, the stuff that I talk about, why do you listen to me? All I'm saying is you can simply no, talk no, no, about no, no, people no. like you who no, wake no, no. up every it's morning and hustle and get to it. What you talk you, about? Why do you listen to my content if you don't like what I talk about? Now you can't let me ask you a question? You asked the question, so now we're going to reciprocate. Why you listen to my shit? Just answer the question. And then you can ask me whatever you want after that. The same reason you listen to Dr. Umar. No, 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 no. Why do you listen to my stuff if you don't like it? I think that the Dr. Same Umar reason Johnson you to your, is, to Dr. why do I listen to Dr. Umar Johnson? To break it down. You got to no, listen to your enemy. That's why I listen to him. I listen to him because I think he's a phenomenal content creator. 
I think he's excellent. And I'm not knocking no, no, I'm no, not knocking no, you. I said you I said you was your reason. You gave your reason. I'm gonna tell you why I listen to him. I think that he's entertaining. I think that he's a phenomenal content creator. I do not agree with him in that what he's using or how he's trying to promote himself as a person that is for the community. I don't think that that's what it is. Yeah, I but think I, that, I, I, I rock with you too. You, you, you a hustler. You a black hustler. You got it out the mud. I to women in order to continue to keep the trope going on. He's using his school because he can't. He's not gonna actually open it, but he can't say, "Oh no, you know what? I made a mistake." I ain't really built to open up a school. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing or whatever. So he's going to keep that going. But I think that he's really a content creator that's incredibly entertaining. And I enjoy his content. That's why I watch him. Now, why do you watch me if you don't fuck with me? But I rock with you. I never said I didn't. I said you wake up every morning as a rich man and you depict the hood. Where you can simply talk about people I don't have to who get it out the mud it's like you every single day. It's a piece of shit. The hood is a piece of shit. And anybody that can get out of it should never go back to it. It's a fact. But you could simply talk about hustlers like you, though. I don't have to but talk you wake about up nothing. every morning and talk. I'm going to get on my platform, and I'm going to talk about the shit that's meaningful to me. If it bothers you, then get the fuck out of the hood. Every post is negative, though. That's what I'm saying. No, it's not. Absolutely not. Yes, Absolutely it is. Absolutely not. No, it's not. You wake up every morning with a negative insight about a black person. No, I don't. I wake huh? up I wake up every morning and I talk about what's happening in the culture. If it just so happen to be you motherfuckers or these black motherfuckers that's out here doing the crime, then you going you going to absolutely come to the front of the congregation. You the what same I'm person who said the culture is mixed with crime. No, I said that the culture is trash. You said it's trash because of what we what we love the most, right? And you talking that's about correct. we love crime. Because the, the thing that we celebrate but you don't align school people. shooters with white people culture. Though. I do. If there's ever a school shooter, listen. When have I you ever said I, I just talked about the cop this morning that killed the black woman, Sonia Massey. I've been hitting on that for the last three days. When that Arkansas school shooting happened, you didn't say nothing about him. You laughed about what a woman Arkansas with a bonnet on. Shooting. You switched the whole I covered stuff. a lot of school uh, Arkansas shooting. shooting happened in the grocery store. That you sat here and talked Trump. about the black woman bonnet. You never it's spoke on a man. Not a, that it's not a black or white store. thing. I don't like people that do crime. And if y'all just so happen to be the ones that's doing the most crime, which y'all are, Y'all going to get the majority of the coverage. I'm not going to stop saying what I want to say just because y'all feeling some type of way about it. If you don't, if they don't like what's going on in their communities, then change it. And I won't have nothing to report on. Bro, crime is down in the hood. Black business it's is not. booming, but you don't talk about it's that. It's not. It's a lie. It's not. Get out of here. Hood. What hood is the crime down in? in? Most yeah. hoods, the crime is down. It's not. It's not. It's a lie. It's a lie. So is that so the you're the only, only person that, winning. You're the only black that the person only, I got. Is that the only smoke that you got? Yeah, like I said, the only problem I have with you waking up every morning as a rich man talking about the hood when you can simply talk about people like you who get it out the mud every day. Nope. Yeah, we could at least get a video or two. I'm going to talk about the hood. I'm going to highlight how it's a piece of shit. And that's to continue. But you ain't going to talk about people like you who from the hood and get it out the mud, though. Why don't I? I, I talk about my life all the time and y'all hate that shit. Y'all want just your life. Myself. You don't go to pick you nobody else who get it like, like you. Me. I talk about myself and I show my life. Man, come on now. But you don't, you don't go out there and show other black people. You you paint different black people. What like the fuck else y'all need paint. in order to get yourself out the hood, bro? What you need? Because first of all, it's said, not my what? Hold on, wait, 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 wait. First of all, it's not my responsibility to be y'all daddy. If y'all want to get yourselves together, if you want to hold somebody accountable, go talk to y'all mamas and y'all daddies. It's not my fault that y'all fucked up. I don't owe y'all shit. As a content creator, okay, let me just talk, tell you this. as a content creator, I'm going to talk about the things that's the most meaningful to me. I highlight my own life. I talk about the things that I don't like. I talk about the things that I do like. I use certain things as an example in order to illustrate a point. I also re uh, relate to my audience, and I know who my core audience is, so I speak to the things that's the most meaningful to them. If you want to complain about the fact that you don't have the motivation to get out the hood, go hold your mama and your daddy accountable. I am not your father. I don't owe y'all shit. You're not going to hold me accountable for your situation and your plight. Fuck y'all hood. Fuck your mamas and fuck y'all daddies that fucked y'all life over. Go and hold them accountable. Don't get mad at me. I don't owe y'all nothing. I didn't say you did, but I'm so saying why you, you can at least talk about people who get it out the mud like that you. that you think that I should talk about, I'm not talking about nothing that I don't want to talk about. I don't owe nobody nothing. Did I say you did? Is that your only problem? Is that your only problem? Basically, yeah. Start talking I about people who get it out the mud. Nope. 
Hypocrite, that's why. Cool. Anything else? You. Is that it? So you gonna stop watching? I never watch. You do, nigga. You be on my nuts. You know all of the stuff that I talk about. <laughs> Y'all niggas be on my nuts. Y'all watch every stream. Y'all watch it in its entirety. Y'all my biggest fucking fans, and y'all sitting here feeling some type of way. Y'all niggas won't even cam up. Y'all niggas be on my nuts, hate watching, feeling some type of way, in y'all mama basement, feeling some type of way, and then you say, oh, don't watch. Nigga, y'all do watch. You watch all my shit. You wake up every morning and tune in. Nigga, you up there just like everybody else watching my shit. Stop hate watching, dog. Use it as motivation or don't watch at all or go watch some other motherfucker that you think is dope. You know why you don't? Because you don't resonate with them niggas and you know it ain't nobody that's better than me at what I do. That's the facts. You feel some type of way because you ain't doing what you supposed to do and so you take it out on niggas that's really getting it out the mud. Don't feel some type of way, nigga. Get your, get, go get yours. And if you want to hold somebody accountable, then hold your daddy accountable, nigga. Don't sit here and come for me and talk about what I should talk about. Nigga, if you don't like what I do, then go and create a whole platform for yourself and you talk about it. Sitting here telling me what it is that I'm supposed to do.